Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to show you a review of the good and the beautiful language arts level 4. Alright guys, so this is the good and the beautiful language arts level 4. It comes with two course books, part 1 and part 2. It comes with a creative companion for writing art and geography. And it also comes with geography and grammar cards. So inside your first course book, you have level four at a glance. It shows that it teaches grammar, usage, and punctuation. It teaches writing. It teaches geography and art and it teaches reading and literature. So all of these subjects are combined into one curriculum. So you no longer have to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, six different curriculums. It is all here in the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts. And here you have your daily checklist for your child. Your child has to practice their grammar cards or geography cards for five to seven minutes every day. Complete one lesson in the course book. They can complete more than one, it's up to you. Complete one lesson in their creative notebook and read books from the good and the beautiful list. When you turn to the next page, it talks about the course. It tells you what items are in the set, the additional items that are needed, which are other books. You'll also need a set of chalk pastels for art, a timer, a highlighter, and tracing paper, a kneaded eraser, art tape, and a workable spray fixative watercolor or pastel paper, a blank notebook with lined paper, and a binder for their book of stories and writings. Again, these are the subjects that are being covered in this course. Reading, literature, spelling, writing, grammar and usage, punctuation, vocabulary, geography, art, appreciation, and art instruction. And then it's an overview of the course. It talks about what levels they'll be learning, what kind of art. They do not match public school grades. The levels change things up every level. Um, and then you have your course principles here, connects multiple subjects, emphasizes the good and the beautiful God, family, nature, and high moral character. This is a Christian non-denominational curriculum, emphasizes reading, creates excellent readers and editors, and then it answers some commonly asked questions here. Um, and then it explains the course items for you in detail, which we are going to go over. Okay, so now this tells you how the course works. With levels four and above, the child will practice self-governance and do much of the learning on his own. The lessons are designed to be engaging and very clear and go, and they go small incremental steps so that the child is not confused or overwhelmed. And this works great if you have multiple children. So this is gonna be awesome for us this year um, that my daughter is able to do language arts on her own. Um, for the, this talks about the grammar and geography card practice, which we'll go over the grammar cards, the geography cards, um, and then you do one lesson in the course book to finish it in one year. The child should complete one lesson in the course book each day. So this tells you how to teach the course, what the parent or the teacher should do the next day to prepare. Talks about every subject and how you're going to go through it. Okay, so as I scroll through the book, I will also talk about the different subjects. This is reviewing sentence diagramming that, that your child has learned if they've done the good and the beautiful level three. There are also terms to know and literary terms. Most lessons in the course book contain reading assignments. However, it is recommended that the child spend at least 15 minutes a day completing personal reading outside the course readings. Daily spelling drills are included in every lesson and help the child practice the 80 targeted words that are written inside the course book. Learning to write well is an important skill that will impact many areas of a child's life, now and in his future adult life. 
This course strives to develop excellent writing skills by having children read high quality literature, practice specific skills in writing effective sentences, paragraphs, and complete compositions, and analyze and model the writing of master authors. Spelling drills are included in every lesson and help the child practice the 80 targeted words found in their course book. Levels 4 and above are designed to be mainly self-directed by the student with parents using an answer key to check work e each day. However, parents may do as many of the lessons with the child as desired. The higher level courses include art appreciation and art instruction and projects that expose children to pastels, watercolor, and pencil drawing. Levels do not exactly match public school grades. Have the child take the assessment test on www.jennyphillips.com to determine which course level to start your child with. Most lessons in the course book contain reading assignments. However, it is recommended that the child spend at least 15 minutes a day completing personal reading outside the course readings. Learning to write well is an important skill that will impact many areas of a child's life, now and in his future adult life. This course strives to develop excellent writing skills by having children read high quality literature, practice specific skills in writing effective sentences, paragraphs, and complete compositions, and analyze the model writing of master authors. The Level 4 Creative Companion has a lesson that corresponds with each lesson in the course book and contains a large amount of beautiful artwork. It contains geography, writing, and art assignments. This is art geography, art geography and writing. You have your colorful maps, and then this is an art lesson. So it mixes up geography, art, and writing. So let's see if we find a writing lesson. Just skim through this briefly. So I think that there will be also writing in the middle of their lessons. Okay, so here you have outlining a story. So they'll be doing art appreciation along with writing. So when they're studying this painting for 30 seconds, then they're going to be using the ideas that they created from, this, from the painting, I believe, to start a story. And it breaks it down in different lessons so that it, the child does not get overwhelmed. So, put the geography cards, we'll cut them out and store them in a box, a coupon organizer or a set of envelopes or pouches, and it tells you how to use them here. So we're just gonna go over them. So it has questions in the front and then answers in the back and they're gonna be reviewing these every day. Then you have your geography, where they're going to learn where their states are. I love this. I love that they're going to be learning the states and all that stuff in different parts of the world and practicing them every day. This is going to be awesome. So 